Hi, drawn learners. It's Miss Nina. Um, I'm back today to draw a ramen cat. I found this really cool graphic online by an artist named Vincent Garcia. So I printed it out. I think it might be a t-shirt design actually. Um, and I adapted a project from it because I just love the image of a cat eating ramen. Um, so that's my finished one that I drew. Um, I colored it with water soluble chalk and um, water soluble uh, pastels, but you can color it with a marker or anything you have at home. Um, it looks really complicated, but I have actually had done this project um, many times with kindergartners. So if a kindergartner can do it, you can do it. So we're gonna get started. I'm not going to color it. I'm just going to draw it for you and leave the coloring up to you. I'm going to leave the, the graphic here so that you can see that if you get lost. Actually, you know what? Let's put it here so it's more visible. That's better. And as you can see, I've already folded my paper. Um, and I'm going to start as usual. Um, today, instead of starting in the center, I'm going to start near the top. Now, the tricky thing that happens on this picture is that you need to put the cat's head above the center line. The cat's head should not go below the center line because you're going to run out of room to put all the ramen and the chapsticks and all of that. So let's get started. I'm going to start up here with the cat's head. So this is my center right here. I'm going to make a line across the center and then the ears, so the ears are symmetric. Make them nice and big. And then a line here. Right below the ears, I'm going to add this headband that he's wearing. It's tied on the side here. And then these lines here show that it is twisted up. Okay, and then below that, I'm gonna add the cat space. So you can simply come down. I'm gonna give him a little bit of a chin by adding that bump there. But you can see I kept it above the center line of the paper. That's gonna be your goal here. Now I'm gonna add the cat's face. So I'm gonna start with his eyes. I'm gonna make a big curve toward the center and then come down. Don't go too far down because you wanna make sure you have room to put the nose. Okay, then I'm gonna add the eyes. And we all know what cat's eyes look like. Okay, so now I can add his nose. So you can simply add a nose like this, or if you wanted to, and that was too difficult, you could just make it a circle. Um, and then the mouth, of course. I'm gonna make him looks happy. Let's give him a little bit of a tongue sticking out here. And of course, his whiskers, don't forget those. All right, next up, we're gonna create the chopsticks with the noodles, okay? So this is a little bit on the tricky side because what we're gonna do is we're gonna make part of the chopsticks, then the noodles, middle part of the chopsticks, then the noodles, then a piece of the chopsticks, then the paw, and then the rest. So just follow along and you'll be fine. Okay, let's see, we've got, and it's just gonna go here below his chin. I've got the front part of these chopsticks and then the noodles which are just wiggly lines not scribbly lines soft curvy lines but wiggly lines okay and now the center part of the chopsticks 
and more noodles. And now I'm going to add another piece of the chopsticks and here comes the tricky part. Instead of completing it, I'm going to add the paw right here. So the paw, just go like this, one, two, three, and you can add like that's the, the paw right there. Then I can just bring these lines up to there and have them come out at the end. And that is how I made my chopsticks. So it looks more complicated than it is. When you start drawing, you see it's actually quite simple. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is instead of creating this part here, I'm going to leave that to last. I'm going to skip ahead to the bowl of ramen. Okay, so for the bowl of ramen, you can put it wherever you want, somewhere right around here. Make it nice and big to exaggerate it. And I'm going to go like this because we're going behind these noodles, behind the noodles, and then like this. So that oval is going to be there. And then we're going to make a border around the edge, maybe with a design on it. It's not critical. and then the bottom part of the bowl right here. Okay, so in my ramen, I've got an egg. If you've ever been to a ramen restaurant, it's pretty typical to have an egg in it. And then I've got some pieces of meat. I've got these little odd ball fish ball slices I don't they're like uh, surimi I believe um, and then maybe some some of those little bits of um, seaweed okay and then I've got to make my noodles of course I'm gonna go like this this is the inside of my bowl and then the noodles so for the noodles I'm just going to make some wavy lines in my bowl. I'm not, instead of making them all go the same direction, I'm actually going to have them go different directions because um, it looks cool. So take your time creating um, a delicious steaming bowl of ramen. And if you've never been to a ramen restaurant for real ramen, Make that a goal, because it is delicious. Although I know my students always tell me that they really love the ramen that comes in packets, which is yummy too, but it's not quite the same thing. Okay, so try not to make these scribbly, try and make them nice and curvy. So there's my bowl of ramen. Okay, so now I've got to build the cat, like this background here. So in order to do that, I'm going to start with his um, uh, kimono. So that comes here. Skip over, go behind. Okay, here. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. And now I'm going to make the shoulder of his kimono. Don't worry if you've made a mistake and things aren't quite working out, just wing it. I always have my students um, just try and make things work. Even if your line is not perfect, you can still make it work. And that is my ramen cat. I'm just going to add a few details. Um, I'm going to make a box over here. I was doing this with the kids. This is totally optional. But I, I told him it looks like a restaurant, like a restaurant sign, a neon sign by a restaurant. So this is how you make a box. Okay, and then I wrote in it, ramen cat, in fancy letters. <laughs> 
and then I put a border because I like borders. Just kind of finish it out a little bit and I don't necessarily need any kind of straight line for my borders are usually wavy. All right, and that's the main part. I'm gonna add a few details, but that's basically your ramen cat. I'm gonna decorate his kimono with some flowers. You can decorate it however you want. If you wanna make a striped cat, you can use that just using your colors or you can use your Sharpie or pencil to make the stripes on him. Um, and that would look a little bit like this. Because these are not like real regular shapes. Oh, his ears furry. Don't forget about his fur. So he's kind of got tiger stripes. And then some here too. And then he would have like a white paw. All right. Enjoy.